and they're sophisticated. So here we are, Art Fresco Online 2020. Very different Art Fresco to the one we were expecting. Mark, how's it going? Really good. It's a lovely day. We've come, um, the Art Fresco team uh, all asked us to come down and um, do some sort of filming of socially distant street theatre. So it feels as much as Art Fresco can feel with only one company in a way, but it's awesome. Hello, my name is Frida the Dinner Lady, aka in real life Gary Gifford from the Bread and Butter Thieves Company. I'm Martin Long from Granny Turismo. And we've been coming here to Arts Fresco for probably since it started actually in 2002. Hi, I'm Andy Kenny. And uh, I'm Jamie Waits. And we are Fair Play. Going around with one of the things I. It feels like Arts Fresco used to feel years ago when yeah. people didn't necessarily know it's on. Um, it's wonderful. The setting itself in Market Harbour, it's quite magical when you close down streets. Got a very European vibe. It's awesome. Why Arts Fresco is so good, that carpet show was designed to be completely surreal. Yeah. And people absolutely loved it there, which, you know, uh, didn't always happen in other places, I have to say. Well, it's an educated audience. It does. It's like, you know, in, right in the beginning, in 2002, talking to your dad, yeah. talking to George, and um, I think I'd just come back from Paris. I'd been training at the hospital. And um, your dad understood all because he'd been he was chair then, or was he, he was chair, chair of the conference of drama schools. Yeah. And he had been um, principal of you know, uh, Central School. So his sort of knowledge of drama training, um, he knew about the cop that I was trained with, and he, it was so, it was, it was a great moment. We had an absolute ball. It was a fantastic festival. It was so well organised, uh, an incredible lineup of performers. You rarely see that many high quality performers in the same festival in a little town. Now, how many years? 18th year? 18th year. Yeah. You think of the amount of companies that have come along and progressed and like got better and grown up with Arts Fresco. Um, and he was hugely inspirational for mm. that bringing performers up. There's been yeah. engagement and there's been love gone into their community through the festival, yeah. Imagine that, if the whole of the UK was as sophisticated and as educated as they are in Market Harbour, yeah. God, our life would be so much fun. So much it? more fun. So I mean, much normally, fun. we have to go onto the continent to have any fun. Yeah. So how important do you think it was for us to do this this year? It's a great, it's like a bookmark. For me it's a bookmark and it's a memory. It's a, it's a, so this is an aid memoir for the, we have had people coming up to us today going, oh, such a shame Arts Rescue is not happening, but this is great today. So as well, I do love the fact that it's at the end of September, it's a bit of a um, end of season bash. But we can do something, we can have a hint, uh, a suggestion, a taste. And that's what it is. It's a little soup sort of an amuse an amuse bouche to arts fresco. That's what we're doing. And one of the most best memories I have is actually Matty from Musical Ruth. Uh, one year, the powers that be of the arts fresco team decided to that you could vote. The public could vote for who they thought was the best. But um, so I came out of the dressing room, and Matty was in his van. So Matty was in there, and I knocked on his window. I went, "What are you doing?" And Matty said, it's the bell's time. Matty went, I'm voting for myself. I'm voting for myself. I'm, I'm going to get this. I'm going to win the win. So he was out there for about an hour, voting for himself constantly. And he still didn't win. Because he'd on, I was on the square and the lady came up. So well, what's all this then? What are, you, what are you selling, I think she said. And I said, well, well what's it about? Well, it's just a bit of fun. And she went, oh, fun. That's what we need. We need more fun. So thank you very much indeed. And for me, I thought, well, that's actually what we're trying to do anyway. Yeah, probably more so now. Um, I think the most memorable thing about the whole day was just the sheer size of audiences and the reception that we got and everybody else seemed to be getting. Um, it's, yeah, it, it was an absolute high spot for us. Yeah, but, you know, Market Harbour is like being at any of the best European festivals. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So well done Arts Fresco. Thank you Arts Fresco. Uh, let's hope it's all back up and running and fun again. 2021. 2021. 2021. 2021.